Hey guys, how are you going? My name is Dom and today I'm going to be showing you how to use JSON in JavaScript. So, just a quick heads up, if you haven't used JSON before, this video is going to change your life because JSON is one of the most powerful tools a programmer can know. The reason is, it is very easy to use and almost every other language knows how to read and deal with JSON. So, it's universal, it's powerful, it's easy. So, what is JSON? It is simply just a representation of some data in the form of a string. That's all it is. It is simply just text. It's not binary or anything fancy, it's just text. And that's why it's so powerful and easy to use. So, when it comes to working with JSON, there's going to be two main things you're going to be doing. The first one is called parsing JSON. When you parse JSON, you convert a JSON string or JSON text into the native object or data type in your language. In this case right here, okay, with JavaScript, you're going to be converting a JSON string into an object or array, okay? And this is useful because if, for example, and many APIs use JSON, so if, for example, you make a request to a weather API, you want today's weather. Is it cold, raining, sunny? I don't know. But that API is going to return you data in the form of JSON most likely. Then, you're going to take that JSON string and convert it into your native object in your language. Then, of course, you can use it. You can get the data, you can display it, whatever you're doing, you can do it by firstly parsing that JSON. And the second thing is going to be converting your native object or information in your language. Okay, for example, objects or arrays in JavaScript, and then converting it into a JSON string. Then you can send that string across the internet, external server, external API, whatever you're sending it to, you can send the information using a JSON string. So let's now have a look. Let's have a look at a few examples. So going inside the text editor right here, we can see I've got the exact same HTML page. So now let's firstly interpret and parse a JSON string. So to declare a JSON string, let's make a new constant right here. Let's call this constant me then JSON equal to a new template string right here using the back ticks on your keyboard next to the one. Okay. Go down here. We can now use multi-line strings thanks to the back ticks right there. So now let's declare some JSON. So JSON typically looks like this. You've got the main object right here, which can also be an array, by the way, and we're going to see that shortly. But for now, we have this main root object right here. Then we can say, for example, my name is going to be decode. Okay. Then we're going to say my age is going to be, for example, 35. I'm now going to say, have I graduated school? Yes, I have. So we're going to say graduated is equal to true right here. Then we're going to say, you know what, let's see my favorite colors. My favorite colors are going to be red, you know what, no, no, blue and green. So let's go down here, make a new array, okay. Then we can say, for example, blue and then green inside here. As we can see, I've purposefully chosen different data types. We've got first up my name as a string using double quotes decode. Then we've got 35 as a number, no double quotes. We've got true, of course, true or false boolean then an array right down here of course containing two strings right there so that is your json object there isn't too much more you know about this okay that's what it looks like now also keep in mind that your properties are going to have double quotes around them in all cases now let's convert this json string containing myself or information about myself into a javascript object so down here let's make a new constant Call this one me equal to JSON dot parse. Then pass through here me as JSON. Let's console.log the results of that parse method. Okay, let's save this, go inside the browser. As we can see in the console, upon refreshing, we get right here this beautiful object containing information about me. Okay, so we can see we've taken that JSON string and converted it into a native object. Now, we can expand this. We've got all of these things going on. It is a native JavaScript object. It's taken our data, numerics, boolean, strings, arrays, and it's interpreted it 
perfectly. So now, if for example, I want to log out only my name, we can just say log me dot name right here. Save this back inside the browser, refresh, boom, decode right there. Imagine if this right here was instead some weather information. Let's just say right up here, this said, you know, degrees Celsius or whatever it is. You can then grab that data and display it using the JSON parse. Okay, now when it comes to converting your JavaScript data into JSON, it's equally as easy. So let's go up here. We can now declare a new constant called car equal to right here, a car. We're going to say uh, make is Honda and the model is a Civic. I love my Honda Civic. So of course, we're going to say Honda Civic right there. Then we're going to say const car as json equal to json dot stringify this time then pass through here the car i can then say const oh sorry console.log pass through here the car json we can save this go back inside the browser as we can see refresh we have the json string of our information right there as we can see it has wrapped our property names inside double quotes to create valid json okay so now, for example, you know, if you want to send this data to an API, whatever it might be, you can, of course, do so using this JSON string right here. Now, I want to show you one more thing in regards to this, and that is if you have arrays as your root object. So let's go back inside here. Let's change this object right here into an array. So we're going to say array just like this. Then we're going to say um, let's do Honda. Then we can say Mazda, for example. Then lastly, Ford, something like that. So now we have, of course, an array as our root instead of our object. So if I save this back inside here, we can see refresh. We have now the array instead. So basically, all I'm saying is JSON can start with the object or an array. They're both equally as valid. And of course, you can nest your objects in your arrays or vice versa, uh, like we saw earlier with the me example. So you can do that too. Now, when it comes to actually working with an API, sending data or receiving data, I've got two videos uh, on those topics if you want to check those out. I'll leave them below and in the top right of today's video right now, I recommend that you watch those videos after this one, especially if you haven't used JSON before. It is super important to, of course, know how to do these things. So there you go. Hope today's video has helped you out. If it did, leave a like and subscribe. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.